Okay, so in this video, we'll be solving some um, integrals, no? So, in, we, will, we will now be focusing on solving integrals which involve powers of a function. So, we'll have here the first integral. So, we'll just write this one, no? So, we have here the integral of sine cube y cosine y dy okay so for this one okay so the very first thing to do is for us to know uh, what is our function no? so have here our solution for example we will have our function u so our u will be equal to sine y so the derivative of our sine y no so it will be uh, derivative of sine y here will be cosine y and the derivative of y that is dy okay so we are going to check if our u and du is present on our given integral no so we have our u sine y so we have our sine y our du cosine y dy so we have here so we could now say that our n no that is the exponent is equal to 3 and the formula for uh, for the integral of, our, of a function raised to a certain power for example we have here the integral of u to the n du is equal to u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c so we just use this formula here no to get the integral of sine cube y cosine y okay so we have now um, we have now here the integral of sine cube y cosine y dy is equal to u to the n so our u is sine y okay raised to the power of n so our n is 3 plus 1 then all over 3 plus 1 plus c so we will have sine y raised to the power of 4 over 4 plus c we could write this one as sine to the fourth y over 4 plus c and this will be our answer for this first integral Okay, so now for our next integral. Okay, so we will have here the integral of cosine to the fourth x sine x dx. No? So it is similar to our previous integral. But for this one, so we have interchanged you know, the places of cosine and sine so solution for this one no so we could use the the same principle no from the previous integral so our u will be cosine x so our du will be the derivative of cosine x which is negative sine x dx so by inspection so we have our cosine x as our u and our sine x negative sine x as our du but on the given integral the the term that has dx the sine x is positive so we could rewrite here our integral to meet the criteria of the the power formula no? the integration of a uh, function raised to a certain power no so for that one we will just rewrite here our equation no? our given integral Okay, so we have the integral of cosine 4 raised to the power of 4 x no? sine x dx is equal to, we'll put a, a, a negative sign also, we'll, we'll put a negative 1 but we just have here the negative sign. Then we have cosine 4, cosine to the 4 x, then we just put also negative so we'll copy everything no on the du no or our du so sine x dx 
So if you, if you are wondering if we have uh, created a different integral compared to our original integral, uh, the answer is no because if we are going to multiply the negative sign here to the ne to the negative sign over here, then they will just be equal to a positive number, no? Or equal to positive. So that's why we will be going back to the original integral. Okay. So then we will have so we will have our n. So by inspection of our given integral, that will be four. So we just use the uh, for formula for power formula, no? So that is um, negative. So we'll copy the negative. So this this all will be u to the n du. So we just have uh, u to the n. So cosine x four plus one. So that is n plus one over four plus one plus c. So we will have negative four x raised to the power of four. Uh, no, not 4, but 5. No? So, negative, uh, negative cosine x raised to the power of 5 over 5 plus c. Or we'll end up with uh, negative cosine raised to the power of 5x over 5 plus c. And this will be our answer. Okay? Okay, so we'll have again another integral here. So we have the integral of cosine x dx over sine to the fourth x dx. No? So we we'll just write rigidly our integral sign here. No? Okay. So solution. Okay solution so by inspection we will have our u equal to sine x no? therefore our du is equal to cosine x dx okay so here this will be our u and this is and this will be our du so we just uh, we have the the given integrals no or the given parts of our integrals to be used for the formula the integral of u to the n du is equals to u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. But by inspection, we could see that our u must be, uh, must, uh, must be uh, in this form. No? The given integral must be in this form. So what we are going to do is to raise our sine for x. So that means our sine for x Will be um, will be on the same level of our cosine x in which the exponent will be negative. So rewriting our given integral, no. So we have cosine x dx over sine to the four x. So that will now become the integral of cosine, ano, sine. So the integral of sine x so raised to the power of negative four cosine x dx okay so we could now uh, see that our n is equal to negative 4 no negative 4 so we will have now sine x negative 4 plus 1 over negative 4 plus 1 plus c or we'll end up with Sine to the power, uh, sine x to the power of negative three over negative three plus c. So if we are going to rewrite this one, no? so that will be equal to sine um, negative three x over negative three plus c. So if we are going to make our exponent positive, so this will be equal to negative 1 over 3 sine cube x no? or sine to the power of 3x plus c and using your trigonometric identities we know that 1 over sine x is, is equivalent to cosecant x so we will we'll have a much simpler um, in, 
uh, answer, no? that is negative 1 third cosecant raised to the power of 3 x plus c. And this is now our answer. Okay? So, I hope you understand something in the video. So, we will be continuing um, our, um, our discussion or our presentation on solving some of the integrals um, which are a function, no? a function raised to the power of n. So, this, this will just be the part 1. So, I hope you will also watch part 2. Okay? So, thank you for watching this video and as always, enjoy learning.